this week's video I created these two background layers. I started with two fairly blank canvases which you'll see and I created these backgrounds using all sorts of different medium, acrylics, inks, stencils and um, maybe some others, different tools as well, rollers and all different things. Um, a few different layers on there, um, well you see. Hope you enjoyed the video and see what I get up to. So here I'm starting covering up an old canvas with some gesso, not an old canvas, one that I started with a drawing and I decided I don't want any drawings on the canvas to influence me. I'm scratching in a little bit with a wooden stick here to get some marks down. And during this video I'm actually working on two different canvases, or here I'm changing for the other one, so hopefully it's not going to be too confusing for you. I'm swapping and switching, really enjoying and working on the two. Again on this one, covering up the imagery, you may remember this one from another video where I started this painting from a drawing and I've just, because I've been starting my, a few paintings like that, I've decided I want to go back to my original way of just diving into the canvas and making a big mess, then trying to pull out some imagery afterwards. Here I've started going in with acrylic paint, just filling in the spaces, putting down marks, there I did some splashy marks with the paintbrush. So I started with some warm colours, now I'm going in with some cooler colours, getting a little bit of contrast. So with these two canvases I am working on one, keeping the colours on my palette and going in to the other one. Using sponge brushes and paint brushes, different sizes, just creating different shapes and marks. And oh, here I'm using a roller. There was a roller. Scratching in again with the tool. Here I lay down some stencils using some spray paint. And you see the results from that. Quite nice leafy pattern. And I go in with some different stencils on the second canvas. Still sticking to the same colours, so I'm working on these two canvases at the same time. On this kind of swirly shape I've used in a palette knife actually there to scrape into the paint, into the spray paint. So, <laughs> hi, I'm going to let that dry. You saw me going in with these stencils, different stencils on this one, using different tools, scrapers, scratchy marks. I went in with this spray paint, purple spray paint, but I'm not thinking about colour palette at the minute, I'm just thinking, I'm just getting marks down there. Uh, I'll grab the other painting. Yeah, I use different stencils on this one, uh, that one and the leafy one. So I'm not thinking about anything at the minute, I'm not thinking about imagery, I'm not thinking about colour palette, I'm not thinking about, I'm just playing around do these scratchy marks and scraping so I'm gonna continue I'm gonna I'm gonna continue like that and have some fun
So I'm coming in with some white to break up some areas. See what, after what talks to me, what speaks to me. Not thinking about it. I know I'm covering things up, but <laughs> this is all part of the process, all part of the layering, building up. I started with a white canvas, why am I going back in with white? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna next go in with some black and get a bit linear. So, swap canvases. all around I, I really like turning my canvas when I'm up on the easel but see as it's on the floor here I'm going to move around the canvas I need to wet my canvas a bit tripod here <laughs> try the other one got to do that with them try put the white down I like it because it just makes the paint flow I need to let that dry because otherwise it'll get all muddy and just turn grey with the white and the black so I'll leave that and then I'm going to choose my next colour to go in there maybe a different technique we'll see <laughs> so I've decided to come in with this colour one of my favourite colours that I often use in my paintings this turquoise blue using this roller hopefully this black's dry so I'm not going to pick any of that up on the roller I've got to really like to spray my canvas keep it keep it damp it just makes paint spread easier I find. And although I'm going over, you can still see things underneath. Don't forget the edges because I do work on the edges as well at the same time. Ah oh yeah, some of that black's coming off, so 
I think I'll just do some little edgy bits. I'll maybe use a, a paintbrush to get some paint on the edges. And so as I got some black coming off onto this roller, I'm changing rollers. I'm going to use this one, it's a patterned one, see what that comes out like. Next I'm coming in with some orange and all these colours, I've got my, sorry, I've got my spatula tool and all these colours, what I want to say is all these colours don't really mean anything at the minute, they just, oh, that's looking nice, I'm getting them down, I'm getting down. I'm getting these colours down because I feel attracted to those colours at the minute and I'll make decisions later. But what most of these colours will be covered up. So I'm not too worried at the minute. use the edge of this as well too. Changing the canvas again and still staying with the orange and the scraper tool. If you are enjoying this painting process, learning some techniques, then do give me a little thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to my channel to be informed of any new videos that I put out. And if you did see my last video, I announced that I was giving away a free downloadable print of a painting called Spirit of the Mountains, an abstract mountain landscape. I'll pop it up in the corner somewhere so that you can see it and you can go to my website or I'll put the link down below as well where you can download that and have a piece of my artwork. So I went in with this orange before and I'm going to go in with this like a lime green. So the original painting of the print that I was saying you can get for free was done in this process as well. There is a video of it on my channel and you see all these different techniques and processes and of course it would be going right to the end to the finished result. Yeah, I'm really surprised at all the people who have been subscribing to my channel and I just wanted to say thank you by giving away this print and just to say as well that it's encouraging, it keeps me going, keeps me making these videos and well, yeah, I'd be thank you. So I've got this lovely light, creamy, pinky colour, and I'm going to come in with this now and fill in some bigger spaces. Keep forgetting to do this. Oh, quite like this, it's quite transparent. Quite like that effect.
still not sure what this is going to be but I fancy going a bit lighter and see lighter paint and a bigger brush I think soon I'll move back up onto the easel up on the wall. Grab the other canvas. This was completely dry by the way. And I did actually spot <laughs> some imagery in the other, in the bigger one. But I'm trying not to look at it. I'm doing some splashes here. <laughs> sure, I don't get it on the carpet. I'm liking this colour. May finish up as one of my colours to work with. I quite like that. I've mixed a blue and white together. I think I've totally lost the imagery that I was talking about that I saw before. I do like working on a series of paintings. I know this is only two, but you can definitely see the similarities. And I'm, I'm getting more and more into this. Maybe I need to work on more at the same time. If you're an artist, let me know if it's something that you do. Do you work on one painting or several at the same time? So I moved up to the easel and here you can see me, I'm spinning it around to see if I can get any ideas of which way this painting is going to go. trying with a bigger one and still at this point I've got no idea. Just enjoying the process. So here we are at the minute, keep spinning it round and seeing if I can see anything, see if anything's jumping out at me. Um, this one as well. So I need to sit back and have a look, but anyway, I say that and then I'll just go over it again. So for now, still in the beginning stages and I'll be going back in with more playfulness. Here I'm going back in with some spray paints, some reds and some lighter colours here, I decided I wanted to lighten things up a bit. Going back in with the scrapey tool. Same thing with the other canvas. And oh, I'm going in with some lovely light blue spray paints, spraying water, getting some drip marks in there. Here 
Here I'm trying to go in with some pink as well, but there's a little problem with the squirty nozzle. So it's just kind of spraying out a little bit. So I get my paint out, my um, tube of paint, a bottle of paint, I think it was, and go in with pink that way. Creating some depth with this darker colour, this dark blue. And here I started kind of seeing some imagery. It's like a plant. I think it was because I went on a bike ride. I went on a bike ride and I saw this really big aloe vera. And it was next to this red and white sign. So I started to play around with that at that point. Then I decided to come in with some inks. I think I was really attracted by that dark blue. Love creating drips on my paintings. So I think that totally through the plant imagery out of the window. So here it seems like, you remember way back when I said I really liked that light blue that I put on? Well, <laughs> here it is starting to come out. Oh, so here are two beginnings of paintings. This one. Um, just a minute. I'll turn it round so you can get an idea of what it looks like. I mean, I don't know which way it's going to be yet, but. <laughs> Like usual, I'm going to keep playing with that. Yeah, so this is the other one. Spin it round. This one, I... I kind of got a, an idea, but I'm scrapping that because it, it's just too early yet. It's too early. I'm going to go in next with some collage on both of them. So I think next week I might even try to make some collage papers, my own pages. So maybe that'll be next week's video. So bye for now. Au revoir.